So I am not entirely sure what happened to the NBA over the past 24 hours. It felt like a massive game of anything you can do, I can do crazier with franchise after franchise playing Hold My Beer. <laughs> we here at the Jump have barely been off the air 20 minutes yesterday when Woj broke the news that the Bucks had fired Jason Kidd. I'm not sure the firing was shocking, but the timing was. Then, a couple hours later, Kidd told our Ramona Shelburne he actually learned he'd been fired by Giannis Antetokounmpo, who Kidd said called to ask what he could do to save On the Kidd's way to the job. Shop. That's not ideal if you're the Bucks, and you would think that would have been the talk of the league last night. Except, <laughs> hold my beer, then came Woj's report about more Cavaliers drama because, hey, it's Cleveland, and why just have a routine practice day when instead you can have a fiery team meeting? Apparently, several players were challenging Kevin Love on whether he was really sick the past couple days, and that then reportedly devolved into more finger pointing between other players. Now, anyone who's watched the Cavs recently might argue, just how bad Kevin Love's migraines are might not be this team's biggest problem. But obviously, the incident speaks to the increasingly poisonous overall culture in Cleveland right now, which is a huge story. Except, yeah, hold my beer, say the Wizards and Mavericks. First, John Wall and J.J. Barea got into it on the court. Then after the game, Wall called Barea just a little midget trying to get mad. Barea responded by saying Wall's teammates don't like him. So that's nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, Boogie Cousins was actually playing the good version of this game, trying to steal the spotlight with one of the year's most monster performances. 44 points, 24 rebounds, 10 assists, including this pass wow. that would make Drew Brees <laughs> jealous. It, it was awesome. It, it was unfortunately also very shortly followed by, hold my beer, <laughs> the Hornets would like the floor. Michael Jordan, upset about reports he might trade Kemba Walker, made a late night phone call to the Charlotte Observer saying he was not going to trade Kemba Walker uh, unless he can get an all-star for Walker, which means he really isn't refuting the reports much at all. But was the NBA done after that? No, my friends. No, it was not. Hold my beer, said the Clippers, as both Doc Rivers and assistant Mike Woodson got tossed from LA's game against Minnesota. Oh, uh, by the way, then, even after that, after 1 a.m. <laughs> Eastern time, our Chris Haynes revealed Damian Lillard requested a super secret meeting with Blazers bazillionaire owner Paul Allen. I was imagining that happening in like a secret layer somewhere. It turns out it was just the arena, but whatever. So, are you all caught up now? You sure? You might want to take a deep breath because this is the NBA. Something else is liable to come along any minute now.